What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another video. Um, again, I'm shooting in my car because that's how I roll. Um, just kidding. I've been super busy lately trying to keep up with uh, all of you you guys reaching out to me asking for help, mostly the dermatitis crowd. So um, keep the emails coming. I'll keep trying to help as many people as I can. Keep shooting videos. Um, there's going to be some videos shot in my car though. So hope you guys don't mind. Um, I think you guys are more uh, focused on the information rather than my production value because it's pretty much zero anyway. On to the video topic of today. I've been getting um, quite a bit of people asking me what I do for cleansing. What's my daily cleansing routine? Um, and I'm going to share that with you coming up right now. Okay, so my idea for myself, where I'm at with my skin and my health, um, I don't cleanse every day. Obviously, I eat a very clean cleansing diet. Um, what I consider my little tricks for cleansing um, are as follows. Um, each day I wake up and I have um, 32 ounces of water. Most of the time I squeeze some lemon into it. Um, that's a nice little trick most people overlook. They think it's they think it's uh, not that important, but I do have a video explaining how to make lemon water. It's pretty simple. Um, that's a big one. Believe it or not, that's a big one. Um, second thing I do, I don't eat in the morning until I'm really hungry. And generally my first meal, 250 calories, nine grams of protein is a uh, matcha, maca, kind of, latte. Um, I also have a video explaining how I make that. Um, after that, I usually work out and then I don't eat until I get really hungry. So sometimes it's 11, 30, 12. Sometimes it's two o'clock. I don't care. I eat when my stomach has digested everything that was in it previously and is ready to eat. And how do I know that it's ready to eat? Because I'm starving. When I'm starving, I eat until I'm satisfied and then I stop. That's the best way to cleanse and to stay clean. Um, my deodorant, aluminum free, fragrant free, all natural stuff. My toothpaste, fluoride free, all natural. Right now I'm using neem toothpaste, it's it's the bomb. Um, lotions, uh, right now I'm using uh, all organic, ooh, sorry about that, all organic cocoa butter, which is really nice. I used only coconut oil for lots of years, um, but right now I'm using this really sweet coconut, uh, so excuse me, cocoa butter. Um, it's got all, it's all organic, no preservatives. Um, okay, so on, that's that's kind of, you guys who watch my videos already know most of that stuff. So here's, here's kind of the behind the scenes things about me that you guys might not know as far as cleansing, um, my cleansing regime. Um, on a daily basis, Obviously, what I've already talked to talked about: get rest, eat clean, move the body. Moving the lymph, exercising is huge. Um, my cleansing, my my cleansing routine and regime comes more into play on a monthly basis and a weekly basis. Usually, about once a week, I'll have one day where I dramatically cut my calories um, and I eat only juice or only fruit. Um, this is kind of a weekly reset for me. Um, once a month, I'll either do an organic coffee enema um, or I will do a salt flush. Lately, it's been salt flush once a week on the days that I eat less. Um, people ask me, okay, well, what about, what do you put on your skin? Are you using any type of, um, you know, a regime for your skin? And the answer is really no. I use Dr. Bronner's soap. Um, I wash my face twice a week, three times a week. Um, no schedule. One little thing that I kind of forgot to mention while I was shooting this video, so I'm adding this piece in. Um, I do take a few supplements, very minimal. Um, I take biotin and I take neem. I take both of them in capsule form. Um, and I also take probiotics. So for me, hygiene, diet, doing that salt flush or coffee enema once a month, one day of, of light eating, that's it. It's that simple. Um, now, Getting to this point for me took a long time and it was challenging and I did a lot of deep, deep cleansing. Um, 
so that's my, that's my basic natural hygiene routine for the week. That's my basic, what I do. It's not very, not very exciting. It's actually pretty straightforward. Um, there are two, two other little things that I'll mention that, um, I don't necessarily need much of right now, but if I were to have any type of pre outbreak itchiness or tingly sensation, I would do two things right away. Um, one is there's an all natural athlete's foot product that's out on the market. Um, it's got, um, some tea tree oil in it. Um, I, some other stuff in it too. Uh, 12 natural botanicals, um, grape seed extract, I think. Um, anyway, I'll show you guys a picture of that. Um, if I were to get a little bit of an outbreak or flare up, I would use that on the areas as well as doing a licorice tea wash. Now, what the heck is that? Buy licorice tea in bulk, boil it for about 10 minutes, strain it, and let the water cool. Then use that water, that licorice tea water, all over your face all over the affected areas of your dermatitis, eczema, psoriasis, whatever. Um, and it's it's soothing, it's an antifungal, um, it's anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, it's good stuff. So that's my basic routine. It's super simple, super straightforward, nothing crazy. Um, like I said a million times, it's not about doing crazy stuff. It's about being consistent, 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 and staying away from your triggers and your toxins. So if you do stay consistent and you avoid your triggers and toxins, your body's going to adapt and it's going to make your skin healthy. Your gut and digestion will be great and you'll improve. Um, if you have questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, if you want to know anything else about specifically what I recommend for healthy skin, for overcoming dermatitis, leave me a question down below or send me an email. Uh, again, thanks for your support. Thanks for all the emails. Um, I will continue to do my best to reach out to all of you guys. Um, please subscribe to this channel and share it with anyone who is struggling with dermatitis or an unhealthy gut. Um, thanks again. Please subscribe. Peace. And I'll see you soon.